Hi everyone, hope you're doing good today. My name is Scott Hickey and today we're going to be doing a review of the Samsung Galaxy A50's gaming performance. So before we get started, the phone features a 6.4 inch 2340 by 1080 display, has a 25 megapixel 1080p rear camera, it either comes with 4 or 6 gigs of RAM, and a 4000 milliamp hour battery. It released in February 2009. Um, it has a Exynos or Xenos 9610 octa-core processor with four CPU cores clocked at 2.3 gigahertz, and those are the A73s, and then four CPU cores clocked at 1.7 gigahertz, and those are the A53s. And for GPU, it has a Mali G72 MP3, which means it's got three dedicated graphics clusters, and it has a compute performance of around 100 gigaflops and uh, so for switch uh, as comparison the Nintendo switch in handheld mode is about 300 to 315 gigaflops so they're not necessarily in the same ballpark but the CPU and the Samsung phone is better and so in some ways they can kind of trade blows and uh, we'll get into that later with comparisons to Asphalt 9 but uh, so the first game that I would like to talk about is um, is a game called After Pulse. It came out in I believe 2016 for uh, iOS, and then I think 2019, 2018 for Android. Uh, it's got very good shading effects, very good shadow effects. It looks like a uh, a late Xbox 360 or PS3 game or early PS4 Xbox One game. Runs very well on this device. Uh, seems to have always a constant over 30 FPS. And it's a very fun multiplayer third-person shooter. Highly recommend it. It's free in the App Store, so go download it if you haven't. And the next game that we're going to go to is Call of Duty Mobile. And I have all of the settings on high, and I'm able to run it on a constant 30 FPS or more. It never seems to lag or dip too much below that. And uh, so if you're really into mobile gaming or the Battle Royale uh, mode in Call of Duty Mobile, this is a perfect phone for you. I know that there are some lower end phones that could play this game, but it's not nearly as enjoyable as it is on this device. I don't think it's nearly as competitive, and I think that you would want something like this. Now, I tested uh, Minecraft, I'm not necessarily going in order, but Minecraft with the highest settings of 14 chunks, uh, I got around 30 to 50 FPS, and you'll see in the video uh, that you know the, the frame rate does fluctuate, it does go sometimes below 30 FPS but it seems to be always playable throughout. Now, a, uh, another game that I tested is Asphalt 9. Now, it doesn't look quite as good as it does on the Switch version, but with all the, gra the graphical settings turned up as high as it can go, uh, it does maintain a playable frame rate the whole time. It's always over 30 FPS, like I said, and I don't have any uh, footage, uh, like capture footage showing the frame rate, but, you know, going by eye, and you know, with a smaller device, a mobile device, it's a lot less noticeable, but blowing it up onto my computer screen and counting the frames, all the games seem to be running above 30 FPS pretty constantly. And another lighter game that I just threw in for some variation is Alto's Odyssey. It plays beautifully, another free game I highly recommend. And uh, going on from there, we have Mario Kart uh, Tour. And that game doesn't run very well on lower end Android smartphones, but it's perfectly playable here. We're getting a solid FPS the whole time. I believe it's 60 FPS. And uh, it's quite a beautiful game. It looks good. Um, now, moving on, we have Elder Scrolls Blades. Now, it's kind of a controversial game. I don't really know why. I think it's a solid mobile game, especially for being free. Dungeon Crawler, kind of build your own city. You can go see your friend's cities or do a 1v1 arena battles. Um, looks almost as good, if not better, than Skyrim on the Switch. Um, it's not quite as expansive as you could imagine. But you can customize your characters, go through some dungeons, you know, find secrets, collect loot, and armor up your character. It's pretty sweet. Now, um, I, uh, if there's any other games you'd like me to test in a future video, I'd love to do so. Um, so if you like this video, like, share, subscribe. Uh, more content to come. But yeah, I give the Samsung Galaxy A50 an 8.5 out of 10 when it comes to game performance and like a 9 out of 10 when it comes to everything else. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. I forgot at the very last minute to uh, say the game Breakneck, that it's a very fun uh, racing game, you're just chasing the horizon, and uh, that game came out earlier on iOS, um, it just barely released on Android I believe, very fun, very uh, demanding game, very good visuals, console quality stuff, as you can see in all these games, console quality, 
And so if you want a mobile phone that's cheap but can push out all the games, all the high-end mobile games that you want from 2020 and onwards, I highly recommend the Samsung Galaxy A50. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.